This video is going to show the inverter installation, which as you'll see isn't necessarily an easy thing to do if you've got an old or a crowded fuse box. Okay, well the first thing I'm looking at is to see how much space I've got in the uh, board because I have to put a circuit breaker and cover similar to the one that's already on here. But I believe I should be able to fit it just in there. So I've got room on the front, but now I've got to have a look at the back to make sure that I've got room there. As we can see on the back, basically in the same spot, there's a lot of cables there. So I'll have to un unclip these cables, pull them out of the way so I can get my holes in there to drill in so that I don't uh, hit any of the cables. Um, but you'll see as I go along the changes that I have to make. By the time I do my connection up to the board, I've got a metre, a metre and a half of AC cable maximum. Make sure it's not tight because you need to be able to have the movement on the board still. You need to be able to follow that right, and not, not go like this. <laughs> right, we've got a DC isolator we're putting on, on the wall here. I will be putting a uh, circuit breaker in here shortly. It's a safety device. Basically the whole system from start to finish, you've got the